Hi guys, it's Jamila. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, I don't know, I don't know if this is a video or a video I made up, but this is the topic. <laughs> I'm going to be going through each of my shelves and showing you guys which of my books are the most annotated. Thinking I'm going to do the most annotated, not the most tabbed, but usually my most annotated books are the most tabbed. So I don't know what I'm going to call this. The most, the most tabbed books on my shelves. But we're going to go through each shelf and I'm going to pull them down and we're going to talk br very briefly about these books. The first book I have here is Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. This is a book that I gave five out of five stars. It was fantastic, hilarious, slightly heartbreaking. It's just an amazing book. It is about Trevor Noah and if you don't know him, he is a comedian and he talks about his childhood growing up in South Africa and it was just very enlightening. It taught me things that I did not know about apartheid. It taught me a lot about that that I didn't know and just kind of made me aware of a lot of the similarities to what happened to black people in the United States and just kind of opened my mind and my eyes to a whole different history that I was unaware of and it made me go and read more about that. So I'm super grateful for this book. I love this book, but these are my tabs. <laughs> and I don't think I wrote in this one very much just because I was so, so busy cracking up and just like zooming through this book and I'm gonna have to put all this stuff back and it's just freaking me out but anyways we're gonna continue the next book I have here is one of my absolute favorites and that is love from a to z by sk ali I love this book so freaking much yeah we got some tabs up in there <laughs> I love it so much like I'm not even joking this book is everything to me. And this one I did write in quite a bit. Examples of that's where I wrote in it. Underlining but yeah, I I really tagged this book <laughs> because I just enjoyed it so much. I I remember just the entire process of reading this book. I just loved it. I just loved it. And Adam is my baby. He is my baby. You should read this. You should read it. Please read it. <laughs> then the next book that I have is Becoming by Michelle Obama. This book is incredible, especially as a young black woman reading it. For me personally, it was slightly life changing. I don't know. I just resonated with a lot of the messages that Michelle Obama puts out through this book and just it's it's learning lessons through the lesson she's learned and I just find this book so motivating and empowering and just did I mention I just love Michelle Obama like please can you just how can you not love this woman she's honestly incredible I want her to be my aunt um <laughs> she's everything but anyways is my tabs i do have tabs so with this one i did have tabs of other colors because i have a whole system but i felt like these colors look better hanging outside of the book <laughs> so i only let the ones that were this color stick out which is so extra i know um so some of these tabs do have underlining and some of them do not So yeah, this book is five out of five stars, incredible, amazing, wonderful. Please read it if you have not read it already because it's so good. And the audiobook is like really amazing as well. So check that out. So the next book I have here is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This book is absolutely beautiful. First of all, let's start off with that. And it's not just beautiful on the outside, it's beautiful on the inside. Although I did not give this one five stars, I gave it four. I did tab it a good bit, so I added this to 
the video and it's also um, something that I really enjoyed. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see that and know that it's one of my most tabbed books. Okay, so the next book I have here is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is one of my favorite books. It's five stars and it was one of the first books I ever saw myself in, which really, I don't know, it just, it sticks with me because of that. These are my tabs and I have a lot of writing throughout this book. Wow, does this not resonate with today right now? My annotation says, this really shows how being woke is a trend for some people. And I wrote that like, had to be like the beginning of last year. Literally, I love this book. It is a book that's been spread around a lot, but I'm still super glad that I found it and I read it because before reading this, I had never seen myself and my family in a book and it was amazing to experience that. And the author is also from where my family from which is Mississippi so relatable and the next book is by the same author and that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas also a really great book her writing just really personally resonates with me and I have a lot of tabs in this one these are my tabs <laughs> and I just I really do truly love this book I feel like I ended up liking this book a, book a lot and I do feel like it has more tabs however my annotation system has advanced at the point that I read this book so that also could have something to do with it but they're both five star books for me but yeah I, I love this book so much okay so the next book I have that's super tabbed up is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson this book was so good to me. I enjoyed it so much. I love the characters. It was just so good. And it's kind of what I love about a fantasy. I liked a lot the world building and the way magic works in this world. It's a really good read. It's a standalone. You don't have much to lose if you do give it a shot. <laughs> But I do know it's not everyone's cup of tea. These are my tabs for this one. And I just really, 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 really loved it so much. I really loved it. I can't wait to reread this book. But yes, this is another favorite. The next book I have is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This is also a book I really enjoyed. And these are my tabs. <laughs> it's not a long book. So I do have a pretty significant amount of tabs for the length of this novel, but it is also a standalone and I really enjoyed the world. I enjoy her worlds and I love that her books are standalones because sometimes I just don't have the mental, I don't know, I'm not in a mood to read a whole series. I just want a story that starts at the beginning and ends when you close it. like ends at the end I don't know what I'm trying to say you get what you you understand <laughs> so the next book completely not surprising at all is Strange the Dreamer oh this is a shiny Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor this is my annotated copy which I will probably be updating once I reread this but Strange the Dreamer is just a book that I enjoyed so freaking much. The world is just so incredible to me. The characters are so incredible to me. Like I just love this duology as a whole. <laughs> so you know what book is gonna be held up next, but this book was just so good to me and so creatively done. Does have a little bit of insta love, but I was able to look past that due to all the other qualities in the book that I just really loved and resonated with. And those are my tabs for this one. And I have a lot, like I wrote a lot in this book, very, very often. 
in this book. So yeah, this is like one of my most annotated books and most tab books. So of course the next one I have here is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Ugh, this book, I'm, I'm starting to think like after stepping away from the duology for so long that this one might have been my favorite, but I do need to reread it to figure that out. But this one just takes it to the next level. Like I had so many moments where I was just like, oh, oh my God, like no way, like stop playing with me. <laughs> stop playing with me. This really was so good. And on top of that, on top of that, just like, the development and the understanding you get of the villain and then you also get another villain and it's just like yes I live for this it's just so good but anyways these are my tabs for this one and um, yeah I just I was friggin obsessed I don't want to give any spoilery peeks at my little annotations these books i read towards the kind of beginning of my annotation journey <laughs> so it's a little janky but it's fine five stars five whole stars so another book i tabbed up pretty well but i didn't get five stars is song of blood and stone by l penelope i really enjoyed this book and i believe i ordered the second book but it still hasn't gotten here so i'm kind of sad um this book is a fantasy and it features a black main character which i love personally and there's a romance and we love to see it so definitely look this up if that sounds interesting to you but yes this book was really good and these are my tabs it's not as many tabs but i did want to mention this one because i enjoyed it and i also think it's pretty underrated like you don't hear people talking about this book so i just wanted to put it out there for y'all to indulge in if you want <laughs> So I'm just going to do these ones in a group, but it is the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Oh, well the last book isn't that tabbed honestly, but they are pretty tabbed up. And I would have to say the book I enjoyed the most would probably be the second one, Days of Blood and Starlight. These are not all time favorites but i did enjoy them pretty well i did think the last book was a little bit overly long but i still enjoyed it so this isn't even about my enjoyment this is about the tabs let's focus so this one i did not even finish tabbing i don't even know why but i love this book and it does have a significant amount of tabs even though i didn't finish tabbing it um, but I'll probably re-tab it and re-annotate it during my reread. But that is The Rise of Kiyoshi by FCE. This book was so good. If you love Avatar the Last Airbender, you're probably gonna love this book. It just, it took me back, it took me forward, it, it took me everywhere and I loved it. And I can't wait for the second one. It's not really working that well, but these are the tabs that I have in there. I'm gonna have to, I think it's because I was read the second half on ebook and I just never put the tabs in. I don't know. This is one of my most tab books. Okay, so from the top shelf, I have And I Darken by Kristen White. Um, this is not a book I gave five stars. I actually gave it three and a half stars but it does have a significant amount of tabs in it and that's just because I did really find it overall intriguing yeah I found it really intriguing because it does feature Muslim characters in this book this is a historical fiction book it's not fantasy I think that I should say that because not all of us are into historical fiction and I thought this was going to be a fantasy for some odd reason based on the cover 
and it was not but <laughs> this book definitely had its moments for me and intrigued me a good bit and that's why it has a pretty significant amount of tabbing and annotating in it as you can see some of it's just like, a lot of it honestly is like underlining certain things they say about muslims in islam and just being like like what the heck because i didn't really i was as a muslim i was a little perturbed a little confused and i kind of laughed at some parts just because i was like cringe <laughs> but yeah so that's that on that okay so the next book is a court of mr fury by sarah j mass i really tabbed and annotated the crap out of this book and i feel like if i were to read it again i'd probably do it even more i just kind of lost my mind because i really really love this book and i did not mention court of thorns and roses because i really did not like that book i barely have any tabs in it all the tabs i have in it were just like angry 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 <laughs> so i had to mention this one because i did really enjoy this one specifically it was just like so 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 good i need to reread it to see if i still love it but i'm pretty sure i'm still gonna love it but yeah this one five stars y'all know what's up i feel like a lot of people share the same thoughts about this book in the series first book was not good like I, I honestly don't even know if I could push through the first book for a reread. <laughs> I'd probably just skip straight to this one. <laughs> and then the next book is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. I also enjoyed this one a good bit, although I read it a lot slower because it had a lot more dragging parts. So I don't think this one got five stars. That one did though, but this one had too many dragging moments and I felt like it was too long. The The parts that were longer and kind of like not enough was going on should have been added to the actual ending, but whatever, that's just me. But <laughs> these are my tabs and this one, there's a good bit. This is so funny, oh my gosh. <laughs> These are so, I don't want to say so good because I just really love the second one, but they're pretty dang good trash read, you know? I love being a good trash read, honestly. I have no shame. <laughs> For the next books I have here, might as well put them together, is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Here are my tabs. I should have this one a good bit. And then God's Grave by J. Kristoff. This one's tabbed a lot more than most of my books. And I haven't even finished it yet. So we're just going to show y'all. Because that's a lot of tabs for half the book. As you know, there's some controversy surrounding J. Kristoff. And some comments that he had trying to defend one of his... I don't know colleagues friends or whatever it wasn't even like something that needed to be defended but anyways and he pretty much called a black woman's voice worthless noise and I don't I don't F with that so I won't be buying any more of his books with my money I don't know it just rubbed me the wrong way you can look it up and see how you feel about it I really don't care I'm not gonna cancel anyone for reading the books but I thought I just thought I'd put that out there because okay so the next book I have here is Air Fire by Sarah J Mass. although I only tabbed mostly the second portion of this book this is one of my favorite books I don't talk about it very much because I feel like I need to reread it just to make sure because I really didn't like the first two books in the Throne of Glass series. But I did enjoy this book. And at the time that I read it, I was relating to Selena in a lot of ways. And I was kind of shocked because I did not relate to Selena at all in the first two books. So that's the tea on that. So I'm not sure if I should include this one or not. But it is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I do have 
an okay amount of tabs in this one but nothing extraordinary so i'm not going to mention this for too long but it is a book that i enjoyed i did not give it five stars i'm pretty sure i didn't give it five stars well she lied i gave it five stars we're gonna have to reevaluate that soon <laughs> but i give this book five stars and it does not have a huge amount of tabs but i do remember enjoying this a good bit so I might have to bump that rating down to a four though because I wouldn't consider this like, I don't from, I don't know, right now holding it, I don't remember it as a five star book. So I feel like that says something. We're just gonna put this back over here. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this video is getting really long, but I hope you guys still watch it to the end. But anyways, um, so the next two books that I tabbed a lot are, the poppy war by rf kwong and the dragon republic by rf kwong let me show you guys my tabs because i have a good bit of them and both of these books are five stars to me i love these books i think they're incredible i think you should read them if you're not turned off by extreme violence and brutality because that is definitely something that happens in this book and you you'll read most of the poppy war and you'll be like ah oh, it's not that bad and then you get towards the end and it quakes and shakes you and i'm just warning you i'm giving y'all the true warning but yeah but these books are great and i highly recommend them just in case you know you see them floating around you're wondering i'm gonna help you out read them they're good okay so the next books you guys can't see the tabs in and that's because i painted the edges of these books but they are in here even though you can't see them and that is red rising by pierce brown golden sun by pierce brown and morning star by pierce brown <laughs> all three of these books are very much tabbed this one not as much as the rest just because i wasn't like officially tabbing when i read this and i mainly started in the second book but this series is amazing it's just so good like you guys it's literally so freaking good i love these books they're just so good like this is a five star series for me which is a rare thing for me to say and i highly 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 recommend them if you enjoy sci-fi, if you enjoy dystopian, these are the books. These are the shiznes, <laughs> the business. It, they're great. Like, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. I love these. They're not everyone's cup of tea. They can be a little bit dense at times only because I feel like maybe for me it was a little bit dense at times just because I'm not huge on sci-fi but they're just so good i'm just saying okay so the next two books i have here are scythe and thunderhead by neil schusterman here are my tabs <laughs> and i loved these books like i really love them i think i loved thunderhead just a little bit more well quite a bit more than scythe scythe was still really good though and i think i did either way give both of these five stars i definitely gave thunderhead five stars scythe might have been a four and a half i'm not sure but they're so good these are kind of i want to say sci-fi dystopian yeah we're gonna go with that um <laughs> they're really good and you guys have probably heard of them already but they're worth giving a shot you may not enjoy the author's writing style which is understandable it's a little bit dry there's not much seasoning on it there's not much flavor but the actual story is like the plot i need to read the last one but i'm a little scared and also i don't own it yet so <laughs> yeah so the next book i read and tabbed a good bit is a blade so black by ll mckinney these are my tabs and it's not super crazy tabbed but i did really enjoy this one so that's why i'm mentioning it and uh oh oh 
the tea. Okay, so apparently I gave this book three stars, which isn't bad. It's not spectacular, but I did enjoy it and I tapped it. So we're mentioning it and we're moving on. <laughs> the last two books, and this author had to go get herself and polish it. The disrespect, actually, I don't even know if I should even mention them. They are very heavily tabbed. Ugh, here we go. <laughs> These books are Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by We Don't Know Her. Who authored these? I don't know. I don't know her. But here are my tabs. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be rereading this series, but you know, that author that I don't know kind of turned me off. So, but yeah, <laughs> um, these are also my most tabbed books on my shelves. And I feel like I had to mention them because they are severely tabbed. But that's all I'm saying, so we're gonna put that back. There's no, we're not doing any raving. We know that that series is a part of a lot of people's childhood, but I hate J.K. Rowling. Like, sh mm, I don't wanna go on a bashing party, but I'm about to go on a bashing party. And you know, all these people are like, I'm unfollowing her. And I'm just like, I never followed her because she's in, She's just like, oh my gosh, she's just an idiot. Like, I don't understand, like, she's always, why are you ruining this for us? You could have just shut up and ate your food. But you had to just yak, yak, yak. She's always yakking, shush. A lot of authors, like, I'm not saying they're not people who should have opinions and everything, but a lot of these authors be out here wilding and I'm just like, guys, Eat your food and shut up. Like, write your books, interact with your fans, and just calm the hell down. If I was an author personally, I wouldn't be doing all that. I, I just, y'all just, I can't. Like, couldn't leave well enough alone. But anyways, that's a whole different topic. That's a whole different topic. But anyways, <laughs> that is the video. That is all the books on my shelves that are super tabbed up. I would like to thank you all for watching. I'm very tired. <laughs> and, oh, well, I don't know if anybody cares, but here, hold on. Uh, I can't even, oh, forget it. That is gonna be the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. But only if you like it here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.